Why not a crook? Britt, uh, the president, while the Democrats were talking, the president took action this week. He imposed new sanctions against the Revolutionary Guard, the Al-Quds Force, which is an elite branch of that, also some Iranian banks. Uh, the Pentagon is talking about outfitting B-2 bombers with huge uh, bunker-busting bombs that's hard to say, that could uh, apparently hit and break through uh, the underground nuclear installations I in Iran. Are we on the path to war? Are we on the path to diplomacy or both? Well, it is probably useful for Iran to believe that this administration will stop at nothing to keep it from getting a nuclear weapon. Th th these sanctions, these financial sanctions, have at least a chance of pinching and, and, and possibly even working to some extent because uh, entities within Iran, individuals within Iran, need access to the international banking system. It forces institutions within that international banking system, be they American or not American, to make a choice between doing business with Iran and getting blacklisted in the United States. Not a happy choice and one that most will resolve in favor of keeping on good terms with the United States. That could cause some strain and difficulty inside Iran and that's probably a good thing. It's, it is nonviolent. On the other hand, isn't it, doesn't it make sense that you want Iran to believe that if they keep this up, they might be the subject of a devastating military strike of the kind that only the United States of America can mount? I would think so. And it seems to me when you have Democrats running around wringing their hands about alleged saber rattling that it makes them look terribly weak. And, it, and, it, and it, in the end, it makes, if you're the head of Iran, you think, well, we want those people in charge. But if you're going to refit a B-52, right? Right. With this bunker B-2. B that's, that's the stealth right. bomber. Why wouldn't you come to the Congress of the United States and say, here's what we're thinking of doing, rather than slip it into some kind of appropriation as if it's a, something being done in the dark of night? Again, it raises all kinds of... Paranoia I think, you know, I, Ron, I agree with you to this extent. It seems to me that the more publicly you do this, the better. Well, that's why I'm so, so why did they do well, it? It's, public, it's an appropriations bill. Right. They're asking for money to retrofit the B-2. It is not being done secretly. But they well, did not well, come and say, we're, gonna, we're thinking about this and we want to do this. As yes, they did. Well, no, they did it as part of the appropriations, but they well, never right. right. how you do it. No, you make a tell, statement. I mean, this is ludicrous. This is how you're going to conduct foreign policy. We're thinking of targeting this place here. We want you to know ahead of time. No, no, no. Look, I is the position. I simply said, tell us that you're, you, you're doing this and tell us why you're doing it. Is that Why is that ludicrous? It's ridiculous. Wait, what, what, what else a bunker bo busting bombs could be used for except to bomb underground installations? But there might be others we might want to bomb, not just in Iran. But I think most people in Congress have figured that out. That's why the Democrats want to fight Bill, it. Let, let them fight it. And let me make this one point. I mean, do people, let's talk about the Israeli strike on September 6th against Syria, which took out a nuclear reactor, apparently, probably provided by the North Koreans, perhaps with Iranian help. Was that a mistake? Do people want to say that that destabilized the Middle East? Did that make things worse? Did that make the Middle East safer or less safe? I think you know, that, that what's the answer to that? What's the answer to that? The answer, the answer is that nothing that, has changed at the moment, you know, but that the, even U.S. officials have questioned the intelligence you know, involved. Oh, right. Oh, here we go again. So, and the Iranian regime is more of a threat than the Syrian regime. It's much more of an exporter of terror. It's a more revolutionary regime. If it was wise for the Israelis to take out the incipient Syrian nuclear program, why should everyone sit back and say, Oh, Iranian nuclear well, program. You want to no no, the last just, word just here. Two Go points. On. One is, look, there's no comparison between the kind of military action it would take to set back the Iranians 10 years versus what would happen in Syria. Much bigger, much more complex, many more sites. However, I do think that one of the reasons uh, that the U.S. had to go to unilateral sanctions this week is because it, its other effort to get multilateral sanctions, they've been so frustrated. And that's kind of the downside of all this. It would have been much better if it had been working in concert with its allies, with our allies, to, to do this. But because it's been so frustrated, even on the diplomatic front, uh, it had to do and, this alone. And my guess is that it's better one, than of the, nothing. one of the things we're doing is not trying to just scare the Iranians, but also to scare, scare the, the European Europeans allies to say, yeah. look, we really mean business here, yeah. so maybe they will get tough. Isn't it surprising that the French are right, I just said she was the last one. Well, I, just, I, I was surprised <laughs> at the French. I mean, the Germans blocking the Okay, French. thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> he never lets anybody else. No, I, I, <laughs> All right. I was shocked. <laughs>